Good morning boys and girls, welcome to the end of week 11. It's the Hatters Get Up Get Fit Fitness Challenge. If you've been involved in this week, we're coming to the end of our weekly challenge, okay, which was to walk the highest mountain in Europe. We're looking for 40,000 steps to get up the mountain, okay, and we're seeing who can get up and down the most time. So keep pushing yourself on the weekly challenge, keep updating us on our Strava account with how you've been getting on. And we want to see who can get the most steps in like we've been doing again. So we'll bring you again the fourth part of our weekly challenge okay on monday morning bright and early and then following that week we'll start with a new weekly challenge again okay it's starting a little bit easier okay, harder. the next week's going to be the uh, toughest weekly challenge of the set of four but we've still got to complete today's circuits we've got those warm-up exercises that we've spoken about previously getting a little bit harder we then go into our stretches you've got a bank of stretches that are dynamic and static use the ones that you feel benefit you the most Okay, and they're gonna get you ready to go into the cardio and the exercises circuits itself. So the circuit itself is gonna be focused on our core. We then go into a little bit of cardio, okay, to get the heart pump in the blood a little bit faster around our body. Then we go and focus on the SAQ, speed, acceleration, and quickness, and then into our cardio um, and football-based exercises. So I hope you enjoy those exercises. Thank you again to those BTEC students that have been putting us the videos on and providing us uh, the videos for you boys and girls to watch. So go and push yourself nice and hard, end of the week, and I'll catch up with you at the end. See you soon.
Welcome back boys and girls, hope you've enjoyed the final circuit of week 11. Like we've said previously, the weeks keep flying through. Okay, if you've been involved since the start of the program, week one to week 11, I hope you're really feeling the benefit now because we're getting these exercises to get a gradually little bit harder. Okay, as the weeks progress, the challenges are becoming a little bit harder the same. So if you've only joined in, it's not a problem at all. We're just asking you boys and girls to push yourself as much as you can to feel the benefit, okay? And what we're aiming to do is get you back into a routine, okay? Like I said, school, college, work, or any other environment that you might be going into. So we've completed one circuit of today's Friday's exercises. You're gonna do another circuit yourself. So keep pushing yourself, whether you're working as an individual, in a group, or as a pair. And that could be in your house as an individual, or in your garden, or down your local park, weather permitting um, that you're pushing yourself in there. But please be mindful of those social distancing guidelines. So, Saturday and Sunday, like normal, is rest day. Keep stretching, keep going on your exercises. Maybe it's a walk, maybe it's a job to keep yourself into a routine. But we're gonna kick start again on Monday morning. So I'll see you again Monday morning, bright and early for week 12. See you soon. Good morning boys and girls, welcome to Hatter's Get Up Get Fit, week 11, Monday morning. I hope you're up nice and early, ready to take part in today's activities. With it being a Monday, with it being week three of this sequence of challenges, I'm going to bring you a new challenge which is going to take you through Monday from today all the way to the end of the week to Friday's exercises. The exercises themselves are going to work along the same sequence itself. So we've got our warm-up activities, okay, which will gradually get the heart rate working nice and hard as we go through and gradually get a little bit harder. Then we're going to go back into some dynamic movements, okay, to loosen up the joints and loosen up those muscles in a dynamic way rather than doing the static stretches. But there's no reason why you can't do your static stretches alongside those dynamics if you feel it benefits you, if you feel you need to. Then we're going to go into the exercises itself. This exercise this week will focus on our core, so our abdominals, lower back, down into our lats, okay? And they're gonna be various exercises that you can participate by yourself. You can challenge yourself against others. Just be mindful if you are working with others of the social distancing guidelines. Um, if you're working at home, you can do it in your garden, in your house, or you can take it down into your local park, and that's where you can work in smaller groups if you feel necessary. So today's circuit's gonna be Abdominal curls, core work, okay, then it goes into the more cardio based exercises. Again, get gradually a little bit harder. Then we finish with our football based SAQs and football related exercises. Hope you're looking forward to them, hope you're going to enjoy them. Don't forget you've got to do two circuits following the rep count and the second count around the outside of the video itself. And then finally, for me, it's just the fact that the VTech students again will continuously provide me with the videos that we can update yourselves with and you can get involved with. So enjoy.
Girls, um, it's Hatter's Get Up Get Fitness debrief. You've just completed your first circuit of uh, Monday's exercises. Don't forget you've got one more to do. So keep pushing yourself nice and hard. Again, if you are working in a pairs or a small group, please be mindful of the social distancing guidelines and keep yourself apart where possible. Um, and if you are sharing any equipment, think about hygiene and sanitizing and what you can do just to take care and put all precautions in place um, that we would ask you to do. So looking forward into our weekly challenge, okay? It's Monday, a new weekly challenge is gradually getting harder and we're looking to uh, walk the highest mount mountain in Europe, okay? It's gonna take you 40,000 steps, okay? So it's 40,000 steps to climb it, okay? And we wanna see who can climb it the quickest by updating us on our Strava account. And if you completed the climb by Wednesday, by tomorrow, Tuesday, if you've been doing lots of steps and been active, then can you make your way back down in? So again, push yourself nice and hard, challenge yourself to complete this week's challenge. See you again tomorrow. Hello, I hope everyone's well. Welcome to another day of Hatter's Get Up, Get Fit Challenge. Today's exercises are going to be brought to you by James Hatch. So we'll start off with our warm up, which will get the blood pump around our body and increase the heart rate, ready for physical activity. Then we'll move on to our stretches, which will hopefully prevent injury uh, for our main activities. And then when we get into our circuit exercises, again, we'll have some physical activity without a ball, and then we'll work into uh, individual ball work and pair ball work. Remember, this is for everyone, boys and girls, age 14 plus. So make sure you get involved and log your attempts into our Strava account. Enjoy, and I will see you there.
enjoy your next time so far. I'm going to do one more circuit to complete where I have been. So this week's challenge is how many times can you climb Mont Blanc, which is 40,000 steps. So I'm going to log your attention to my driver account. Enjoy, and we will see you again tomorrow. Hello, welcome to Wednesday's Hatters Get Up Get Fit Fitness Challenge. It's Wednesday of week 11, the weeks are flying through now. We've nearly provided the program with three months worth of exercises. We've been working on different muscle groups, all looking at conditioning and just strengthening those muscles and those groups. But ideally to get you back into a routine of getting ready to go back to school, college, work, or any other environment you might be going back into. So it's all about getting you up, getting you fit and getting you ready to do things. Okay, you can do these exercises by yourself, in your house or in your garden, or in other rooms if you want to take it into those. You can do it in pairs down your local park or in groups. Okay, but like we said at the start of the week, mindful of those social distancing guidelines, please. Okay, looking to protect everyone as best we possibly can whilst participating with our challenges and our circuit exercises. So again, this week's all been about core exercises, into the cardio and then into our football related exercises in our main uh, circuit itself. Then we can start with our warm up into our dynamic movements rather than stretches. Then we go into our circuit itself. So enjoy today's circuit. I'll catch up with you at the end again to see how we've been getting on with our weekly challenge, which I'll continue to update you at the end. So good luck today and I'll see you soon.
Welcome back boys and girls, hope you've enjoyed Wednesday's circuit. Okay, like always, you've got one more circuit to complete off of camera because you've got to do two sets of the circuits. So keep pushing yourself nice and hard because we want to make sure these circuits are benefiting you. Myself joins in the circuits during the week to make sure the intensity and the uh, exercise themselves are not too difficult and make sure they are pushing you to get up and get yourself fit, okay? So whilst you're doing the circuits, we've also got that weekly challenge, which is five days worth of step counts, okay? And from week one, which was a smaller mountain in England, then we've gone into the biggest mountain in the UK. We're now climbing the biggest mountain in Europe, 40,000 steps to climb it, okay? And then we've got to see who can climb it the quickest and on the, on the quickest over the days, I should say. And then if you've completed it by the middle of the week, so today if you've completed the climb, can you get yourself back down that mountain as well? So keep pushing yourself on the weekly challenge. Keep working nice and hard during the circuit itself, okay? And then what we're looking for you to do, if you've done it already, update your information onto a Strava account with the uh, weekly challenge. But keep sending in those videos and pictures of what you boys and girls have been doing during the week to our Twitter account. So good luck today. Keep working nice and hard. And again, I'll catch up with you towards the end of the week. See you soon. back again for the Hatton's Get Up, Get Fit program. We hope you're all doing safe and well, and we hope you're keeping as active as possible. Um, our coaches are going to take you through, again, some activities, which if you haven't been involved already, well done for those that haven't have been taking part in the last few weeks. But if you haven't been involved already, we're going to start you off with uh, a few warm-ups, a few stretches, and we're going to go straight into the main session. After the main session, we're going to get yourselves cooled down so you can just continue with the rest of your day with a couple of exercises to get your muscles relaxed. Remember, you can now mix with different groups, family members, friends, so I would advise you to go and get some other people active. Make sure you're getting them to take part in these challenges alongside yourself at a good distance. We're going to leave you with the coaches down to get through to the main session. Work yourselves as much as possible and make sure you continue to log into our videos on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Keep yourself active throughout the week. Work hard and we'll see you soon.
Hey guys, that's the end of today's session. Thank you very much for taking part. We hope you put you through your paces and you are ready to go and get on with the rest of your day. Um, remember, guys, we want to hear from you guys. We want to see the progress that you've been making. So we would recommend you to download the Strava app or any other app on your phones or whatever you're using to obviously look at the activity that you've been doing and keep a track on your progress. You can always get in contact with us, um, hashtag the hackers get up, get fit, to get out there what you've been doing, keep other people motivated and to get others involved. Remember we can start mixing with individuals and other groups now, so please do tag us, get other people involved and make sure we get as many people exercising as active as possible in times where it is a struggle. So thank you very much for getting involved, we will see you next week. Keep active.